everybody, Katie Sutton here, Intuitive Channel and founder of Zen Within Academy and the New Earth Now School with your 2024 June update. Wow, we are in June. All right, four themes that I want to share with you this month. The first is subtle realignments. The second is following the signs. The third is healing loss programming. And the fourth is living your dream. All right, welcome to June, everyone. I'm excited about this month. It feels like a turning point, and I don't think it's just because we have crazy solar flares going on and we have the solstice coming up later this month. I think there is definitely an energetic shift that we are all going to start to experience in the month of June, especially the back half of June. And at a holistic level, I want to say that this transition point that we're in where seasons are changing and we're moving to solstice can just in general be a challenging time. So this will be a month where you need to take extra good care of yourself and give yourself as much grace as you can. Okay, so let's talk about the first theme. <clears throat> so one of the things that I'm noticing with June is that we are going to be, especially in the first couple of weeks of the month, in a bit of a void space. And if you maybe have followed along with me in my former updates and former teachings, I talk about the creation process and how we go through cycles and that there is one part of the creation process called the void where we are in a place of rest and integration and we are gathering information and alignment so that we can be catapulted into kind of that creation or birth phase, if you will. And so the void is a place of infinite potential, but it's also a place where we need to have an infinite amount of patience <laughs> and give ourselves a lot of grace. And so I do see that we're going to be in that energy, at least in the beginning of June. So a lot of you have been telling me that you're in a place of transition or that, that something has shifted, but you haven't seen it materialize in your physical world yet. That's what I'm talking about with this void space. And so this first theme of subtle realignments is really about you making little micro changes every single day to align with that bigger vision, that bigger sense, that bigger dream that you know that you have of where you're trying to get to in this next chapter of your life. But can you make some subtle shifts in your day-to-day -day experience to align with that? And one of the, the ways that the guides have been talking uh, with me about this is following in each moment your highest joy, your highest excitement. And can you align with in each little moment what is going to bring you the most joy and maybe that looks like just slightly up leveling some of your choices so that you can be more in alignment with your highest joy and that may also look like you doing some work to dismantle any programming you have that keeps you from claiming joy. I've been working with a lot of clients on that. It seems like there's a lot of ancestral programming and energy that we're going to be clearing this month. Some of the stuff I've been seeing in session goes back 10, 12, 14 generations. And so you might also find in this theme of subtle realignments, you might notice that you're operating in a program or a paradigm that you've been conditioned into since childhood or by your family or by society and you're just all of a sudden realizing oh actually I don't really know why I'm operating that way that doesn't really feel like my truth I need to pull out of that energy and subtly realign into a new vibration that's going to be more in alignment with what my truth is so I do think that you all will be making small changes some of you might take some big leaps this month too that's not to say that's out of the question but I do feel like especially the first couple of weeks of June it's going to be a little bit more subtle the changes that are coming in and when we're in the void space what we're really practicing is existing in the state of trusting that what it is that we're trying to birth or create has already happened on some level and staying in alignment with that truth so there may be some mindset work here where you're realigning and realizing that just because something hasn't materialized in the physical just yet doesn't mean that it's not going to happen we can self-sabotage quite a lot when we get into mental stories and that can take us really quickly out of alignment with the things that we've been working on so just pay close attention this month I, I think we'll be doing a lot of work in the mental body too and I'll talk about that in the fourth theme as well so the next theme is following the signs okay and I really like this one because I think it's a joyful theme we in every moment are getting signs 
of where we're in alignment, where we're not in alignment, we're getting signs of things coming to fruition. Some of you are seeing them as repeating numbers or little, you're thinking of something and then, or thinking of someone and that person calls you, like these subtle little synchronicities are gonna be really big in the month of June. And one of the ways that you can follow your highest excitement, highest joy, is by when you get a sign or you get a you ask for something and you get a confirmation in the form of a sign, right? A little whisper as I call it. Celebrate that. Be in excitement about it. Be in joy about it. One of the things about my personality is that I am still every single day in awe of the magic and the crazy things that align for me and the synchronicities that happen. And I don't become obsessed about it, but I get really excited when it happens and I love to share that with my friends and family. And I think that being in that excitement of the magic that's occurring actually keeps me in that river of flow with the magic. It's in those moments where I lose that or I forget about that, that I start to feel the density of the human experience and I can go really negative really quickly. So I do think this, this theme of following the signs is a celebratory energy, right? If you've been asking for guidance on something, you've been asking for confirmation and the universe provides that for you in the form of something in nature that shows up, a spirit animal, a song on the radio, something something that someone says to you, be excited about that. Celebrate that you are following your intuition and you are being guided because we all are. And I think it's easy to get lost in the hustle and bustle of day-to-day -day life and forget about the magic that is happening all around us. So there's also a little bit of childlike curiosity. That's one of my favorite energies in this one too, of can you align with that magic and can you welcome this in? And I think that this can be re really reassuring, especially when we're in a void space. Sometimes what happens for me is I am working towards something, something's trying to come into fruition, I'm trying to birth something, and I get hung up in the density and I get into that void space a little bit and nothing really seems like it's going on and it's really uncomfortable and then I start seeing repeating numbers all day long. <laughs> I start seeing the same sign over and over again. That's just my guide's way of telling me, hey, you're still on the right track, trust the process, right? Just trust what's happening. So that's really the essence of this theme, following the signs, okay? Enjoy this one. I think this one will, will be a great one for you all to work with this month because that's gonna balance out the third one, which is a little heavier, which is healing loss programs. This one is a little dense, I'm not gonna lie to you. What I see with this energy is that when we're about to make a big transition, when we're about to move into a next chapter, there is a sense in our life that we need to look around and we need to say, hey, does all of this still fit? As I birth this new version of me, as I step into this new beginning, is this relationship still working? Is this house and this place that I'm living still working? Where in my life is there maybe a misalignment or something that might need to fall away? And if you've been on this spiritual path for a long time like I have, you have experienced loss over and over again. You've up-leveled in frequency, you've changed in perspective, you've changed in your level of awakened consciousness, and in that, there are things that naturally fall away that you have to grieve, right? And that is a part of this process. But what I'm seeing is that this grief, this kind of collective grief of loss of what do we have to let go of in order to receive the next big thing or the next best thing or the next good thing that wants to come into our life, that a lot of us are holding on to some kind of PTSD response around this grief. And we're actually really afraid sometimes to step into that next chapter because we don't know what might need to change to welcome in the next thing. And so with this theme, what I see is that we're going to be clearing out some collective grief and some individual grief and some ancestral grief where it says, if I grow as a soul, I have had to lose and I have had to miss out and things have had to fall away and I've had to grieve them. And a lot of us don't normally complete that grief cycle and so it's building up in our system. So you might see this physically in your lung channel, right? Or your spleen channel where we tend to hold on to this repressed grief. It might come up as congestion in the body this month, okay? As we start to clear this, what it's going to do, I think, is bring in a new mindset and a new way of being where maybe it's possible 
that we can have that next beautiful thing in our life without having to lose what we already have. Maybe we can keep some of those relationships. Maybe we can continue to be in that job and we can just up level and go to another octave. So I do see that we're having a change in our manifestation process a little bit here with this particular theme. And the more that you drop into your authentic self and your authentic expression and you live that every day, the more everything around you is going to continue to be in alignment with you, right? When we're dropping things and ways of being that are really just not authentic to ourselves, we also have to lose all of the things that were attached into that. But as we continue and we create a foundation of authentic expression, and we're just continuing to expand that, we have a lot more alignment naturally in our life. And we will witness instead of having to lose that relationship or lose that job, the job transforms, right? The job description changes. We get a promotion. That person that we thought would never change and never go with us on this ride all of a sudden has an awakening, has an epiphany. And they wake up and they're like, oh, I'm ready to move into the next version of myself right along with you. And I think that this particular energy, even though I feel it a lot in the heart and the high heart, I think it's being triggered by some of these solar flares that we have going on, these crazy, haven't happened in 20 years level solar flares that we're having. We're getting bombarded with so much light, which is really the essence of who we are. And we're waking up to this authentic expression, this authentic empowerment in our solar plexus. And so you might also notice that you're moving through some stuff in your solar plexus area this month, okay? This is a great month to focus on gut health and taking care of your gut so that you can welcome these solstice energies, especially if you're in the northern hemisphere and we're going to be in the summer solstice. We're getting bombarded by so much light on top of the solar flares that are happening for everyone, okay? So that's one of the ways or one of the things that I think is triggering this. And as we drop more deeply into our authentic expression, that solar plexus gets more and more powerful and more and more defined, right? And as that solar plexus becomes more and more defined, the other energy centers, which is the heart, which is above it, and the sacral below it also get redefined, right? The heart is about our relationship to self and can we love ourselves? Can we celebrate ourselves? The sacral chakra is about our passion, our purpose, our creativity, our sexuality, the alignment, the vitality, the flow. That's also going to get upgraded, I think. So this particular theme of healing loss programming and saying, I don't have to keep losing in order to gain, right? That's a that's this old paradigm, this old dualistic paradigm that we're starting to step out of. I think this is going to be a huge game changer for all of you. If you can be with any grief that's old, if you can be with any fear that's old of what you might lose and work through that, clear that, allow that to fall away, lots of expansion can come in this month. And that takes me to our fourth theme, which we will be working on in Healing Circle on June 12th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, called Living Your Dream, okay? So the way this theme has presented to me is that this is about, the lines with that first theme of subtle realignment. It's, can we be present in the moment in our highest joy, and keep being in alignment with that and live into the dreams that we've had for ourselves for a really long time. Can we welcome that into this now moment? And so what I see in our energy fields for this theme is that we're gonna be expanding. We're gonna be creating more space to receive, okay? And we're going to be culling noise and distraction. So one of the things that I'm witnessing for people, like they have a very clear dream, they have a very clear desire perhaps of what they want, and then they get off course. There's a distraction that comes in. There's something that happens. There's some external noise. There's maybe something going on in the world, like in the financial landscape or in the political landscape. And they're like, well, I'm not going to make a decision about my dream because what if this happens? And so they're putting off their dreams in favor of playing it safe and being a little risk adverse here. Okay. So with this theme of living your dream, I'm seeing us expand our energy field and cut those distractions away. Clear that distraction away and I see us getting laser focused on what is it that we want. And inherently, a lot of us are programmed to not want. 
to not feel worthy of being in desire and being in wanting. And so we're going to be working on dismantling some of that programming too. And ultimately what I hope will happen with this theme is that you all will be able to start to see that the things that you've been visioning for a long time are already here and that you've just been not choosing to experience them yet. And that there's just this thing that clicks into place this month where you look at your life and you go, oh my gosh, that thing that I've been wanting is actually already happening. And it may be happening at a very subtle level, but it's already here. And once you see that, you won't be able to unsee it, first of all. And when you see it, you're affirming it and it's just going to explode, right? It's just going to expand to a greater degree in your life. And so this is a lot about focus and attention and mental body energy and what we're paying attention to and what we're affirming, okay? So in our healing circle, that's what I'm going to be working on with you all. How can we make more space? How can we let go of some of this loss programming? I am going to build that into this particular healing circle. And then can we start to get really focused on our dreams and cut out all of that noise, the comparison energy, the chaos that's going on outside of us? Can we get really clear and can we stay focused and can we stay aligned? So that's what this theme is about. I am super excited about this because I think... I hope that this is going to be one of those months where you all are going to look back at your life and go, it was that moment in June of 2024 where I realized that the thing that I really wanted already existed and I just had to claim it. And once I claimed it, my whole life changed for the better. That's what I'm hoping with this energy. It feels really good and really exciting. And ride that wave, my friends, right? There's a lot of momentum. There's a lot of light coming in and you can get pummeled by it. You can get pushed down by it or you can rise to the occasion, and that's the invitation this month, okay? So as you can see, very dynamic month, lots of big things happening, lots of important themes coming through, and we need to pay attention, right? We need to be doing our inner work, doing our practices, and having some fun in the process, I hope. All right, don't forget living your dream. That's our fourth theme. We're gonna work on that June 12th in Healing Circle. If you want some support on that alignment piece, join us. Should be a really fun time, a really good Healing Circle for us to work through that. And I've got lots of other events coming up in June. We have a sound healing on the 8th in Charlotte. We have an ecstatic dance on the 15th in Charlotte. My husband's doing another ecstatic dance with Ecstatic Dance Charlotte on June uh, 22nd. Lots of exciting things going on this month. Lots of good time to drop into community and connection with other light workers. I also just got interviewed on Serious Joy. I know some of you are joining my channel from that. I will um, be posting that full interview on this page as well if you missed it. It was a great conversation. So many nuggets. I talk more about these themes and so many other things in that conversation. So check that out. And we got lots of things coming up in 2025 for retreats on sacred sites, just getting back from Peru, going to Shasta not too far from now in July, and really excited to continue that work with those of you that are called to get out on the earth and really wake up and remember parts of you and talents and gifts and codes and information that needs to be reactivated. So stay tuned for all of that. I'm already working on our 2025 dates and we'll have more information for you probably next month, okay? So have an amazing month, everybody. Ride this energy wave. Enjoy it. Celebrate. Get out. Have some fun. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.